sunk another one. How am I doing? Okay, I guess. Okay, I guess. That's seven for me and none for you. Give me that club. You can't play here anymore. <laughs> this club is closed to all. Except certain people. What certain people? Me. The guys I can beat. Oh, boy, what a sore loser. Oh, no, Joe, stop it. You can't do that. Joe, wait! No, Joe! Joe, you give that to me, Joe! Well, what's going on here? You fellas want to fight, go on outside. He's got classified information and he's not supposed to look at it. <gasps> Joe! <laughs> what is it? The x-rays on Ted Thorson. I'm supposed to deliver them directly to Dr. Janet Craig. Oh, what's a little detour? <laughs> hey, this is terrific. This guy is a mess. <laughs> Look, we're in. Now oh, she'll have to stay here to take care of him. Uh-oh. What's the matter? Well, if he's a mess, this sure don't show it. It's from the lab to Dr. Craig. It says everything's just fine. There's no break at all, not even a hairline. Hey, Sam, loan me your marking pencil. What for? Draw in a couple of cracks. <laughs> well, who's to know besides us? Joe, she's a doctor. She went to medical school. Yeah, and there's a reasonably good chance they taught her how to tell the difference between a real break and one made with a marking pencil that you use to put prices on cans. <laughs> yeah, but without x-rays to prove he's injured, she'll let Ted go and that'll blow our chances of keeping him here. Wait a minute. Why does she have to see that x-ray? Remember the accident my Uncle Fred had in the park and he collected the insurance? Well... I still got his x-ray on that. That's terrific. Take it out, Burton. We'll let Wendell take that one over to her. Oh, I don't know. It sounds sort of underhanded. I'm not sure if I can. Well, forget it. We'll let Sam take it over. <laughs> Located, Bert? It's here somewhere. Because years ago, I promised Mother I'd never practice anything to see. <laughs> you know, this was a very historic case. Made old Irv Simpson stop selling shirts. Tell you how it happened. My Uncle Fred took out a policy in June. By golly, he had the action on the 4th of July. <laughs> Lucky old friend. <laughs> it isn't that I don't want Janet Craig to stay here, but I question these methods. Here, let's look at them. Oh, is that a view? I can't tell a thing from that. Me neither. But he collected $300 on it. That's good enough for me. Come on, let's go. Well, Joe, you can't. Are you coming? Of course. It's my uncle's x-ray, isn't it? <laughs> I guess by now I've just got so in the habit of being honest that even if I wanted to, I couldn't. I just... Oh, no! Oh, this is a real one here. claims she's leaving. Well, don't be too sure. Take a reading on that, Doc. Oh, thank you. This is your x-ray. Hmm. Pretty bad, huh, Doc? Bert and I looked at it, and even with our layman's eye, we could see it was loaded with fractures. Right, Bert? <laughs> yeah, fractures all over the place. This does show quite a bit of damage. Well, do you think the poor fellow will ever walk again? I think so. This is a fracture of the shoulder. <laughs> Hey, he was hurt a lot worse than we thought. Well, oh, that's a long fracture. From ankle to shoulder? <laughs> Gentlemen, I have the feeling there's a little hanky-panky here. Oh, no. Couldn't be. How could you think that? Mercy, mercy. <laughs> Fellas. You ain't buying it, huh? It's all your fault, you and your cockamamie x-ray. You don't know a shoulder from an ankle. And I happen if my Uncle Fred takes a bad, bad picture. <laughs> Where is the real x-ray? It's out there. It says everything's fine. Ah, that's what I thought. Well, don't be too hard on us, Janet, especially Joe. We just took this up hoping to keep you with us. Oh, thank you. I'm very flattered, but I have a commitment, and as long as my patient can be dismissed, I'm afraid I'll have to go. Well, all I can say is you're sure fouling up my plans. Pardon? I was all set to wreck the other ankle next week. <laughs> <laughs> you're sweet. Well, I, I guess this is it. I just want to say that... This has been the happiest time of my life, meeting you and knowing you. I guess I better check my office once more just to make sure I haven't forgotten something. I don't think so. Oh, oh hi, folks. I'm hi. sorry we're late. I was hoping everybody would be here. Isn't it a wonderful day? 
wonderful. How can you say that? What's the matter with you guys? This is the morning Doc Craig leaves. And there's not a thing we can do about it. We've tried everything. Are you sure? Everything. What are you two getting at? Hi. I was afraid you weren't going to make it. We just got in. In from where? From Riverdale. Oh, Janet knows all about it. She sent us there. Well, here. Uh, here's the report. Gentlemen, would you be good enough to help me put my things back into my office? You mean you're, you're not going? You mean you're giving up the job? You ain't going to take it? You bet I am. I want to be here when Kathy Joe's brother arrives. Ben, I gotta hand it to you. You come up with something even I didn't think of. <laughs> Junction. Junction. 